Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily if you're new here and today we're going to be going over how I propagate my Scadapsis and possibly Monstera and Philodendron just depending on how much space I have in the jars when I'm done because two of my Scadapsis really 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 need cut back. So first is my Scadapsis pictus argilis or gilis. I will put it in the description and like link it. Oops. I watered it yesterday, so it's like dripping on the floor. Um, but this guy has recently just like taken off, but only one of them, and I want to make the top fuller. I just added another piece into this, but as we can tell, this is getting a little unruly. And then back here, this guy doesn't live here, I just put him here for the last video that I filmed, um, is a Scadapsis Pictus Silvery Ann. And as you can tell, she's not super silvery. She's got a few strands that have like the high silver, but she's also getting pretty long and she lives on a table, so kind of need to trim her up a little. I also want to try to retain as much of the silver as I can with this one. Um, some potentials for chopping today is my um, Monstera Siltipicana and again my philodendron, my variegated heartly philodendron. But first we're gonna start with my argilla, argilis, or somethingist. So what you need to look for when you're like thinking about trimming back your um, vining plant, cause this is pretty, these are all vining plants. None of them are like self-heading philodendrons, like a princess or anything. These guys all have a vining growth habit. So what you wanna look for is a node. So a node is basically where the stem of, I'll pick this one, the stem meets like the petiole of the leaf. And oftentimes there'll be this little thing here, which is an aerial root, which are amazing because they can turn into like soil roots or water roots, which is what I typically do. I have some little propagation vessels here and a few um, silver satin cuttings in water over here from um, when I repotted the plant. There were some like cuttings stuck in there that had the little or no roots. So I just decided to cut those. So I'm gonna make the first cut and then I'll bring it closer. Um, I want it to trail a little bit still and then there's like basically between these two leaves is a node. I'm gonna cut above that node that guy down and as you can see here there is it basically made a node but no leaf so I left that one attached and then there is a node at the bottom of this then all the way down here there's a lot so for this one I'm actually gonna leave those two together those two nodes there I'm gonna chop it right above the node just leave a little bit there. This one I'll actually, I'm gonna cut off, cut up almost like a little bit, like half an inch below the node. So then this guy can go in water. I'm just gonna stick it in one of these jars. They don't have water in them yet, but. So then I'm gonna make a couple of single node cuttings because like the inner nodal space, which is the space between the nodes, as you can see are pretty big and they would have trouble fitting into one of my vessels. So I'm gonna cut it here. This would be easier if I had a good tripod, but alas, I do not yet. And then as you can see, there's a lot of inner node there, which won't do anything. So I'm gonna cut that. And here is my first single node cutting. So there's about a quarter inch to half an inch of like the stem left on there. I'll just stick that down in here. And then, so I have this end piece. As you can see, there's a node here. There's a little node there and it didn't make a leaf there. I don't know why. I think it was just being dramatic and was like, I'm not gonna make a leaf right now. It seems like too much work, but it's getting ready to do one. So I'm gonna cut off some of the inner node down here and then place this node in water and it'll root this little end piece. It won't have to make a new growth point or anything on there. So there we have that one. 
and then I think, yeah, I was like, there should be one more. I cut a few nodes off. And then this guy, again, has like a really big inner node, so I'm just gonna chop that. I typically chop at like a 45 degree angle. I don't know that the angle really matters. I just kind of cut it so it's like tilted, you know? It's not exact science here. But there we go, we have another little cutting. So now I'm gonna do the same thing for this guy. I'm gonna pick out, cause this is getting a little unruly to like sit on a table, you know? It, it's in the middle of a coffee table. I have a little like tin in the middle of that coffee table, which you'll see when I finally decide to film a apartment like plant tour. I just haven't yet. But here actually I can show you on this because I took a cutting from this stem pretty recently. It's popping a new growth point there. I don't think you can see it because it's really small still, but that's popping a new growth point. And the nice thing is, is the leaf that that growth point is attached to, like the node that it's coming out of produced this nice silvery leaf, which is great. So I'm gonna cut this guy up a little. Whew. This one makes me a little nervous. I don't know why, I want a fuller pot. This was my idea. No one asked for this. I decided to make it. You know, I should just go for it. Well, that one's already been propagated from. Okay, so we're gonna cut. There's a really, really, really long one here that has very little silver in it. So, got this one. And I'm just gonna go down and chop it. So, the other day I did this because Lauren's um, philodendra in Brazil was just dying and we were trying to save it and its roots just fell off of every single thing that was in there and the thing was just weird and so now I have a couple cups of philodendra in Brazil cuttings and I'm not opposed to that because I really enjoy philodendra in Brazil's as is evident by me having one right there there's one in my kitchen and every single time I see one I'm like ooh, I should buy that I don't have somewhere to put another Brazil. I should just propagate from mine and just, you know, whoa, I just cut that and a little piece like rolled under my shoe. That's funny. I'll have to find that later. I should have thought to bring like a little trash can, anything over here. So from this stem, we have four little single node, or that's three. Can I count? Probably not. I have three little single node cuttings and then like a little end cutting that are going over on the ground because I don't know why that just seemed like the best place. And I'm gonna do that again with this long one because I just wanted the silver to come back, you know? I bought it to be silvery and it's doing that. Like that's not silvery. That's less silver than my like regular skin dapsis, like false advertising. Pick up the silver. Yeah, but normally this is just a really quick process for me. I don't normally talk through it, you know? I was talking to Joey about it the other day because he was over when I was chopping up the rescue mission Brazil, because he was here when I came back from that. I was telling him about how I cut it up and he was just kind of looking at me like, that's cool, I don't know what you're saying, but that's cool. So that was fun. And this specific piece is very different than the rest of like the end cuttings that I have because as you can see there, there's two little nodes and then the leaf. So that actually gives it a really good chance of rooting and I'm gonna put it in a tall vase so that it can root. But this one gave me a whole bunch of little pieces. And then like all of the pieces that I cut off of the other one, these ones will make growth points and just be super cool. Just be super chill, you know? Oh, here's one more I'm gonna cut. I'm just gonna fill a vase up with these. Like, why not? You know? This one, at least the inner nodes were really close together. I just cut up another one. So there's less little like wasted pieces, essentially. 
Did I? Apparently I was propagated. Oh, this is the one I propagated from before. So one of these, let me see if I can get this one up close enough for y'all to see. But this guy has a little growth point right there. If you can see that. I don't know if you can, the little like nub that's sticking out between the stem and the petiole of the leaf. That is a new growth point. So that is where it'll start growing more leaves from. So once I have that part done, I'll take up, I'll like gather all of the little leaves together and just kind of bundle them so I can start putting them into, I got some of these little propagation vessels. I have two of those and then I have this big milk glass and I also have this little like funky looking thing, which is fun. And this has some like little cuttings that are starting to root in it. I think, I don't know. They're from my silver satin one. It's looking like so far. I'm gonna add in a few more, basically until I can't fit any more in there because I don't wanna have to have like 30 pieces laying around if I don't need to. That's most of the cuttings. And then I'm just gonna fill it up with some water. I am a bad plant parent and don't use like filtered water or anything, I just use city water, which is probably a terrible plan because I won't drink the city water, so I don't know why I'm making my plants drink it, you know? I've refused to drink the city water here for past three years, yet I'm just like, oh, here you go, plants, but they haven't complained. So I think it's fine. If they haven't, like none of them have complained about it because most of them are from the area. Like I buy most of these within like almost city water destination. So then it's just like filled up. It looks like a little fish bowl almost, but it's just got some little plants in it, which is super cute. Um, and I still have a propagation station. <laughs> well, propagation vessel, I should say. Not a propagation station, that'd be fun though. So I might just chop this guy up, which makes me super nervous, but I've heard good things about propagating it. So cross your fingers for me, cause I'm gonna take a cutting from this for the first time since I purchased it, which is a little nerve wracking. Like yikes, dude. But I've heard these guys, oh, I just did it. Oh, I just did it. Whew. It just, it had started producing tiny leaves and just being all around kind of weird. So I'm, not feeling too shabby about like cutting it up, you know? Cause it's just being weird with me and I don't know why. So I'm just gonna kinda chop it between nodes. I feel like I shouldn't have done this when there's a leaf about to unfurl. Going into winter, oh well. I'm having regrets, but not much I can do about it at this point. It's already chopped off of the mother plant. For some reason, I just thought I saw the blimp fly past because the blimp was out yesterday, a lot of yesterday for some reason. I don't know why. Probably because there was a game last night in Cleveland, so I had to go to Cleveland. But it was like circling around and I was in class and I was like, why is this blimp just like here? It's not as creepy. When I was a, when I was a freshman, so I don't, I'm not from the area. Like my parents live in Pennsylvania. So I didn't grow up with like seeing the blimp. That wasn't like a thing. And then I came here and one of the first times I saw the blimp, there were two of them. And for some reason they were like hovering. They were just like kind of there above the university for like multiple hours. And I was texting my mom about it. I'm like, the blimp is being creepy. And she's like, why are you freaked out by this blimp? It's just a blimp. I'm like, I don't know. I've just never like seen blimps before. Like, I remember when I was a child, when it was like, I don't know where it was going, but it went over our house and I went outside and I was like, oh my gosh, a blimp. I remember running through like the lower portion of our yard and like looking for this blimp. I don't know why. Okay, so there it is. It looks kind of sad because this is a little bit big of a jar for it, but like, whatever. I'm just gonna fill that up and like pray that it's okay. Cause I really hope I didn't just kill these. I've been debating ordering 
one of these from Steve's Leaves because I really would love to fill out my pot some more and they have some gorgeous ones there. And I just keep watching. Maybe I'll look for that today since it is Friday, they update inventory today. So maybe they'll have one. Plus I just got a job. So now I can afford to buy things. But now this looks like really sad because it's basically three leaves. I need to water this and can I? No, that leaf is not ready to come off. I don't want to like remove the leaf if it's not ready, you know? But this guy really needs water. Um, let's see. Do I just want to kind of go for it and take a few cuttings from this guy or am I just going to be nervous to do that? I think the answer is both. So for this one, I don't know why I didn't do this between the other ones, but I did it before I started is I have like a rubbing alcohol solution in here that I treat my scissors with because I don't want anything like transferring between the plants, but the three that I just cut up are completely healthy, so it's fine. But I just sterilize these. This guy, I don't know. I don't know. I'm scared. This is like one of my favorite vines on it, but it's just getting long and kind of unruly and starting to not get enough light. And I would rather kind of fill it out. So I'm gonna cut up here above favorite leaf. Woo! I just did that and I'm cutting one more above an empty note over on the other one. So I just took two big cuttings from my pretty. Um, for reference, this is my favorite leaf I think or this new one. They come out with like a pink tint. I don't know if you can see it if it's coming up on camera or not but like that's a little pink in there. I don't know. I don't know. But I just am in love with these plants. Oh, with philodendrons, I like to remove like their catafils because I don't want them to like rot in the water. Okay. Luckily, these guys are kind of crazy and push out axillary buds a lot. The axillary bud is where like a new growth point comes from. So I already see axillary buds on each of these three nodes, but I'm gonna leave this one connected to this one since it is producing a leaf up there. Um, and I decided to propagate from this guy because it's a pretty variegation and it was also getting super long. So there we go. There's my favorite leaf. Um, yeah, I don't know. I just decided to do that. Feels like a bad idea now, but also it's too late. Can't just like magically reattach this. Oh, magically reattach this to my plant, you know? But there we go. I'm doing these guys as single nodes, and then this guy as like a lot, not a lot of nodes. There's like three basically. But there's one. This other one has, I should not do that. There's like new leaves coming out of that one and I just set it basically on the new leaf. This guy has been producing some really low variegation. Like this stem has been producing low variegation if it produces variegation in the leaves. So I'm hoping that by chopping it up, it's gonna push out a growth point from one of the pieces with higher variegation, you know? I'm gonna like the pieces of the stem because and the other one, I think I can see it, actually. I don't know, the stems on these look pretty solid, but have been pushing out such pretty, okay, this one you can actually, it's like, can you even see that it's variegated in the stem? But like you can see that versus the other side, like it's different colors everywhere. So I've got two little cuttings so far. It's also been growing really weird. So, where did the other piece go? I'm like losing everything I own. But yeah, so these guys, I'll just get these in water. I'll just let them propagate. You know how it is. I will do an update probably in two, three weeks, maybe a month. I don't know, depending on how long these guys take to start roots. Normally, I'll see root growth. These guys are a little slower to root. Like the variegated heart leaves are pretty slow to root as our skin dapses. 
so it might be a month month and a half before I get a video up about like these ones but yeah this is how I typically propagate everything I have done moss propagation um, like in my last video with the Monstera stanleyana little baby that was in moss because I was told by the person I purchased it from to do moss as the uh, main like rooting substance, not rooting substance, but like substrate. And it worked. Uh, I just don't personally enjoy using moss as a rooting substrate. I prefer water because I can see the roots, I can monitor it closely, and I don't have to water it every day if it's in water because the water I can just cha I change it when I think about it, which isn't too often, which is kind of bad. Normally like once a week-ish. I don't know. But with the moss, I have to do it once or like every day, every other day, basically. I have a couple things in my greenhouse that are rooting in moss, which is more Stanleyanas, because I have some stems, um, a Monstera Peru, and a Philodendron Lupinum that are all like sitting on moss working on roots and working on becoming like plants and stuff. So that's about how I do my propagations. It's not too difficult. I just kind of cut between leaves and yeah. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have an awesome day and I hope you learned a little bit. I mean, I know there's a ton of videos like this out. I just wanted to do one myself because I was planning on propagating these and I figured why not film Maybe it'll help someone out there. Feel free to follow me on Instagram, subscribe, like the video, leave a comment. What's your favorite way to root your plants? What's your favorite plant to propagate from? That's a fun one. My current favorite propagation, I would say, oh my gosh. I have way too much stuff in propagation right now, so I don't even know. Um, I found that Cebu Blues propagate so, so easily <laughs> that it's kind of crazy how fast they're ready like i've propagated a ton of cuttings because i haven't actually purchased a plant i've only received cuttings of one so that's been fun um yeah all right i'll see you next time bye